welcome to the vlog, welcome to the channel, and welcome to Monday. Uh, should have seen a little bit of the loading of my today's job. Uh, it's a 55 foot narrow boat uh, going from Nantwich over to Shipley. I've just come over, just coming up towards Huddersfield now. I'm 18 miles away from delivery. Looks like we've got an interesting week this week. Uh, I've got this today. Uh, dip down to the garage, get my uh, wheel retopped. Had um, a leaking valve on Friday. So I need to get my wheel not to be topped up. Um, it's a nice looking menu. Dip down to New New Yard, go see Richard Mechanic, get the wheel nuts re talked. Um, tomorrow, a couple of bits to pick up, a couple of containers to drop off back to that uh, storage yard in Huddersfield. See the other video for that, or my TikTok. Um, Wednesday and Thursday, ready for this one? A wavebridge. 15 metres long, 3.5 metres wide. Going from Dewsbury to Fort William. Up the M6, M74, and then the joys and the terror of the A82 round Loch Lomond. That road, at the best of times, is busy and narrow. And I'm going to be going up it with a 15 metre by 3.5 metre trailer on. I don't know if I'm taking the step frame yet or whether I'm using this extender that I've got on now. Uh, both will do 15 metres quite easily. Thank you very much, Mr. Car driver. Um, don't think I've got preference of which one I want to take. This one's probably a little bit easier. We've been. Um, having a proper bed. The other one might be a little bit easier having the full steer. This is with the base steer. We'll find out. I know it's currently getting MOT'd so it might not even be available. So we'll find out what your point plan is. But right now we're just going to get this boat delivered. Going to a ship, um, a boat yard, Shipley. Uh, they're going to lift it off me. Uh, <laughs> and then back to the yard, as far as I know. I've got the dinner nails on today. Um, so I've bought my washing stuff, so I might give the wagon a very, very, very good blast. Get try to get it clean. And then I'll pull off the, off the wash bit and straight back into the mud. So, is it worth it? Probably not. I'm going to do it. Probably. One of them things. You can't, you can't not wash it, but you just can't keep it clean either at the moment. Go along New Yard with new tarmac. Not new tarmac, but tarmac. Rather than mud. Mm. glad I'm getting some hours in because the last few weeks have been really poor. Ways have been way on un way under what we used to, what we need. Uh hit up. Uh, one of my colleagues has uh, found my channel uh, and I've sworn him to see if it's a help spot. loose for now, get into Shipley, try to get a bit of footage of, of it coming off, probably just with the phone, I can't get the cameras out of it, it's not going to be a big job I don't think, so, yeah, catch you in a bit.
good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. Uh, two jobs today. Uh, first one, I have got 25 ton of steel on the back, going down to Sheffield. And then I am meeting Wayne, he's going to load me with the waybridge and set off for Fort William. Uh. Get going. Uh, power mode is on. Axles are all right. Take the water. Headlights on. Sheffield is just over an hour, they open at 8 o'clock, so that's perfect, it's now 5 to 7. Slow traffic on M62, traffic jam ahead, between A650 Moyston Hill and A650 Moyston Hill, 3 minutes delay. And of course, I'll be expecting delay, but it'll be in that time morning. Right, B6125, feel head lane. Welcome to the 66 in Cumbria. Oh, sorry, not quite in Cumbria, we're still in Yorkshire. I'm literally looking at the um, Cumbria border sign it in front of me. I'm having a quick half hour, uh, program the route in the way the movement order takes me. Uh, we are 294 miles away currently, uh, which is about just over six hours to drive. So I'm going to try and get up towards Perth tonight, maybe a bit further, but Perth's really the last point where I can get any sort of food or internet connection, <laughs> from what I've been told. If I go any further north, I'll be on my own. 
no TV, no movies. Just seeing your dad, Robin. No CB. Quite looking forward to that part. <laughs> nah, but no, I'm just joking. Uh, all the lads. Well, most of the lads aren't even busy at the moment, which is getting to be a bit of an annoyance. But, like I keep saying, we've got to get this move done. So, he's got to make the time for it to do. Right. Cut you loose, I'll come back to you when I'm moving. Catch you in a minute. Pinch a bit of the dirt to get down this wagon. Quite nice. Right, I'm not going to push anyone over, I just want to get out nice and easy. Out behind this black one, I think. Bring it down, then let's go. Right, so that's me just over the over the summit. Uh, um, Bows. Bows. Follow A sixty six towards Penrith for thirteen miles. Right, two hundred ninety three miles to go. Let's see how many of them I can knock out today. Uh, destination won't be at. I'll try that one again. They won't be there for about half eight in the morning. Uh, depending on how much of a pain I want to be, I can either be there before half past six, or technically I shouldn't move until after half past nine. I think that's the same in Scotland. I'm not sure, so I need to look into that tonight. But the aim will be park up relatively early tonight and then do it in the morning, drive up. So I might be there quite early. Once I'm there it's just a case of back in, they'll lift it off with train, I'll drive out, turn and burn. Um, they've got some messing about to do to actually get it in position. I don't think I'll actually get it into where I need to get where they need to go. So the crane's there to lift it off me from one side, turn it 180 degrees, drop it back down, potentially move the crane, pick it back up, and then put it where it needs to go eventually. This is what I've been told. If I can get in the yard, then I will, well, I will be endeavouring to get into the yard and get it as close as I can to where they actually need it. Um, the, the easier it is for them, the better, it, better, better feedback we get, the more business we get. So, on the on the other hand, though, I will not put the wagon. All the goods at risk if I can't if I can't get it round safely without damage. So we'll find out. I want to speak to them in the morning, and they will come down to the end of the road where it's where it's I can park up. Uh, we'll go up and down in the van, see whether I can turn around anywhere or whether it's a reverse all the way up, and then. If I can drive up and in, that'd be even better because I can just reverse back out, empty it a lot easier than I can reverse in. So that'll be an option I'll be looking into in the morning as well. High Stainmore Cafe. Never actually been there. Maybe one day. Not one for stopping for food. Generally. 
what you lose on here uh, switch the other camera on to time lapse and get some time lapse of going over the hill and then I'll do bits and pieces of the M74 the M6 just in case I can't get any footage of the delivery but when I get there before I start reversing up the camera's going on back at car ball onto trailer I'd like to get one on back at trailer and one on back at cab you can actually get like a front and rear view of how it is I might even put one on onto the actual load, I don't know, we'll see all things to play with later Ooh. oh god, before I set off I got art, check my straps and everything was tight Wow, it was cold and windy. Yeah, we a bit of a chill on now. So, yeah, look there, cut your loose. Catch you in a bit. Well, here we are up on the A9 heading towards Perth. Done a bit of time lapse footage that you should have seen. Some of the nicer bits of the M74 and M6. Uh, we're still 116 miles from destination. Uh, I've got an hour and 11 minutes driving time left on this four and a half. So the big question is, how far do I push on? I know I can park up at Perth, it's about 15, 16 miles away from here. Or, that'll leave me 100 miles to do in the morning. And I've got to be on site for 8.30. Or, do I push on and use the other hour? Or do I take a 45 and push on another couple of hours? So if I had a 45, that would take, take me to about half past seven. It'd be a 13 hour day. The last 40 miles or so, from what I can see on the movement order, is off the A9 where it's going to get a bit bendy and a bit nowhere to park up, I would imagine. So I want to be at least parked on the A9 somewhere. There's a fair few big laybys and a friend of mine's recommended somewhere. But I can't remember what he said. He's not answering his phone and I can't find where he asked the question on the Facebook group. I pulled over a bit ago and had a quick look and I can't find the post that I asked that I used that I used to find out. So I can't find it. So I'll have to try and bring him again in a bit. So. Oh. I know one thing, my backside is numb. That's what I've spent. Um, about half an hour at my first job, another half hour 40 minutes getting loaded with this yeah so in the ten and a half hours i've done so far i've probably been out the wagon off the seat for an hour maybe a little bit more Numb on one cheek. 
So I, I, just, I didn't just fart then, I just moved my bum and it's just awkward. Need to find a nice big wide lay-by. One, I don't want to put it into trees or whatever's on the side of the road. And two, I don't want any part of it sticking out onto the carriageway. Ideally, it'll be set back and have a bit of pavement in between the road and the lay-by. Failing that, just a, as wide as a lay-by as possibly can find. And I think I'm having cheese and ham toasties and a tomato soup for my tea. Because I've got a feeling it's going to be in the middle of nowhere with nowhere near to walk or find some food from. I will be trying. I will be trying to find some food first. I only cook for myself if I absolutely have to. I'd rather have a decent meal rather than a makeshift meal. I do love driving around Scotland. Shame we can't get up here more often. The scenery, like that over there, if you can have seen it on camera a few minutes ago. Well, a minute ago, late seconds ago, whatever it was. Beautiful hills. And I was kidding around with the um, ladder that we were loaded. Well, whether there be any snow on tops today. And bear in mind, I'm going either on the way or the way back, definitely on the way back. I will be going past Ben Nevis. And I will be looking up, up top to see if I can see any snow. Because it has dropped cold in the last few days, and I imagine it, up there it's even colder. Uh, I've also had some signs for yellow weather warning for rain tomorrow, which doesn't bode well me having to reverse this, or if I were to reverse it, and obviously the crane trying to lift it off when it's absolutely hammering it down. But I will do it, they will do it, or I'll be staying there until it is off. Don't bother me. <sighs> longer, longer than home by Friday tea time. That's the main thing. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I'll see where I am in about 45 minutes and then decide whether I'm having a break or not. So it'll give me about an hour and a half extra if I have a break. Saying that, I'm going to get past Perth, which is about nine miles away, at which point I turn north again properly. I think I'm going north east at the moment. When I start going north, then I'll work out what I'm doing. <sighs> there was a lay by I stopped in on the way down from Invergarry a long time ago, when about when I first started here. And I had to walk into the town to a takeaway because they didn't they, they didn't wouldn't deliver. So I walked in, there's a couple of restaurants and it was um I think it was a niche shop that had a takeaway in it as well. So, after looking at the restaurants and the pubs, decided to go get a pizza and chips from there. Uh, even took me a lad, a couple of bottles of proper Scottish 90, is it 1903 Iron Brew? Which he was greatly appreciative, I think, I think he's still got the bottles for them. He's kept the bottles. 
Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so tired. Right, I'm going to cut you loose on this one. I'll talk to you when I get parked up. Catch you in a bit. Because I'm packed on a lay-by on the side of the A9, I've taken some extra precautions for the overnight. Flashing road flares. Front and back legs. Just so overnight, so I'll have all my lights off. People can see me. They don't run into me. But this is an all of Nice little bit of overhang under here. Don't half smell of pee pee down here as well, which is really annoying. And how about that for a view overnight? I don't think I'll see much of it. I'm sure it's going to be extremely dark very, very soon. I don't imagine it's going to be, yeah, very, very much light around here at all. And then about 78 miles away so that will be an hour and a half in the morning so I should have to start too early Ooh, it's a bit nippy out there as well so time to get some tea uh, get some sleep and it's Pop the car out. Uh, uh. Oh, we start about six in the morning. Yeah. Going an hour fifty to get there from for me, so yeah, get there for stop at six. Get there for about eight o'clock. Bus traffic. Yeah. Right, I'll catch you in the morning. See ya.
just pull up on the A8 to three. Uh, just to really check all the lights still working. Put these extra ones on because of the road that I'm on. As you can see, it's not overly wide. But, question for you. Two flashing lights mean absolutely nothing car drivers. I've got the two on the trailer and I've got the two on the back of the load as well. And I've just had a couple of near misses on the corners in that. Move around and slowly. Yes, there's no load. Can't help us. But I have full beam on which on this wagon is really good. The one low, mid, high and spot. But yeah. It does nothing. Right. Let's crack on. About 20 miles to go. Catch you in a bit.